we've been swimming in this water since we get gendered before we're even born. How do we even begin to know? This stuff is thrown upon us. Yeah. You are male. You are female. You are heterosexual from birth. Yes. You know, the way people speak. Like, you know how when babies don't have any hair and people put a bow on the head of yes. the bald baby girl? Right. Just so people know, because obviously it really matters at yeah. six weeks old that we know she's a girl. Right. Um. We were, all, we were all inculcated in that. We cannot lift ourselves out of that, unfortunately, because I have no idea where I would fit on any one spectrum for anything. Yeah, I genuinely don't. All I know is what has felt like it fitted for a long time didn't always fit at all, but I felt like I had to make it so. Yeah. So, you know, even coming out in the, like, 1980, 81, I... 82 in particular when I had all the hair cut off and I was such a shit baby dyke I mean it really didn't suit me um but then when I had my long red curly curls that I had for decades I used to get turned away from queer clubs sometimes because I looked too heterosexual even though I'd been with my wife for 10 years by then all of us do it to each other I mean I'm certainly not saying that it's only the heterosexual community who does this to people But I genuinely think that what we're doing is we are constraining others and we are constraining ourselves. And we are really limiting our possibilities when we do this to our children, when we do it to each other. And when I do it to myself, I limit who I might be. I mean, look at me with my lipstick and my mascara because I'm going to be on the Zoom telly. (laughs) Now, I am really fortunate that my culture says that's okay because I'm a cisgender woman and I'm allowed to. If I were a man feeling pretty tired because I'm 59 and a half, I wouldn't be allowed to put on makeup and not if I was a cisgendered man. Mm -hmm. Or people would think I was really brave. 